So I've got another one on here, but it's sucking that bait. <laughs> but it's pretty tight to the uh, seabed. been out for a bit uh, so I thought I'd give Pevensey a go I've been hearing good reports of Ray from here they tend to arrive on our coast uh, in March the female fish come first and then the males arrive shortly after that so here's the baits so we're gonna make these up in the garden actually uh, saves a little bit of time particularly when you're night fishing um, if you can make up the baits beforehand, we're going to use these bluey and I'm going to wrap them uh, with the bait elastic. This is really fine bait elastic. Um, make sure you get the fine stuff so it does snap off uh, quite easily. I'm just going to make up a few of uh, these snoods. This is 40 pound uh, mono leader and then the hook is a 3-0 uh, actually. Try and get a longest shank because uh, those rays, if I do get them, We'll take the hook right down so the shorter shank ones uh, tend to disappear harder to unhook so i'm just going to whiz through this one we're basically preparing the baits beforehand as and i'll do the bait preparation as a separate video so we'll set up at pevensey uh, looking there towards the sovereign harbour it's to the west so i've got the usual setup here i'm sort of mixing the continental uh, with the multiplier just a three hook flapper on that one we've got a salted lug on today couldn't get any fresh with these short tides plus very close to the storm and then on a continental setup that's ready for the ray so we've got uh, a bluey on there both of these casts at a reasonable distance not massive not not so good really a lot easier to cast a continental rod than it is the multiplier now i do like a little half pendulum with that but the off ground, off the ground cast with the um, Continental I find so much easier. You need a few more lessons again. Right. No bites so far. You're at a bit of a disadvantage, obviously, uh, not fishing in the night time. The rays like feeding during night. And they've been battered about a bit. So far, no takes. And it was at this point, I kind of gave up a little bit, uh, just put the lug on just to see what else was out there. The only problem with fishing for one particular species, uh, there might be some good fish out there, so just putting these lug on. And so it's not a bad little venue, Pevensey, actually. Uh, you've got parking quite close there if you need the access, if you need easy access to the mark. I'm looking there towards Hastings in the east. For some reason, I never really talk when I catch a fish, so I put up with the voiceover. It's a bit disappointing. You can see what that is. That's okay. uh, not really what we we're after. Little slug. Let's put this one back. As you see, we've moved up the coast just a little bit up to Langley Point. Again, I've had another tip off. Uh, we're going to fish at around about a low tide now. Tides are building nicely. And All the pulley rigs in this bag ready to go. Mm. 
as for the leads, uh, because I'm using a Continental as well, I tend to go for these 125s. Um, they've got that uh, lead clip there, obviously with that breakaway element there, so when the lead hits the bottom, uh, the pressure the pressure of that hitting the water releases the hook on there. So all my rigs are designed so that the hook uh, is the right length to just hook under there. I don't use bait clips on the actual hook, so I've got loads of those. use those all the time. And especially if you look today, look at the conditions we've got. Um, there is a little bit of an undertow here, but to be honest, you can get away with these three ounce leads. What I've done with the multiplier one, uh, I've cut a fillet of bluey skin side in, and then I'm going to wrap it round or wrap round it with this squid. So I'm going to wrap round it with this squid here, and then that's like the. So I've gone. I don't know if you can see. So I've gone. And then having survived for years and years is that slosh, the SL20, that's the Diawa one. It's just on an old um, sandstorm rod. I don't particularly like this sandstorm rod, I must admit. It's a little bit too stiff. Not a bad sort of entry level multiplier rod. Again, it's totally battered. I think that tide, as it's tide as it's starting to move there. I might need to put on something a little bit heavier. A small fish plucking away at that big bait. <laughs> Something's been nibbling the bait. What I've done is I basically what I've done is I've cheated. Um, the idea was to come out with a big baits for Ray, but I thought I'll just put a three hook flapper on, tiny little bits of bait, just to see what these small fish that are rattling the rod tip are. So that might just put our minds at rest. I think they're whiting. Um, let's cast this one out and have a look. So even though we fished into darkness yet again. No ray. <laughs> uh, I did speak to a couple of other anglers nearby and they didn't catch either on this night. So, uh, anyway, but I've still got a bit to learn here, I think. We'll use those thumb sized baits, keep it nice and simple, and we'll go again. Attempt number three. <laughs> so this will be the second time fishing into darkness and my third trip without a run. Uh, we've moved a little bit further down the coast, as you can see there. So it's, it's still at Langley really, but uh, let's give it a go. <laughs> Great bait. Uh, having a little little knocks on the lugworm. What I've done is I've just put a three hook flapper on. We're having exactly what we had the other night, which was the big baits were coming back, little bits torn off it. So I just sort of my inquisitiveness got the best of me. Uh, so we're getting little rattles on this. Let's have a little look, see what's in there. Tiny little white in as we expected. Got 
got those rods quite high now just to try and keep it out of the surf uh, it's flattened out there's a little sandbank in front of me and I think if you look at that red uh, continental little plucks like that I think all that is is the surf hitting it fishing's obviously a little bit trickier in the night I think that's what's happening down there though whereas the other rod is just steadfast in there keeping those rods nice and high now it's got quite shallow see we're getting little knocks on the multiply rod the one on the left just trying to keep it out of that surf zone I might have a little look at that black rod what I'm walking what I'm doing now is walking what I'm doing now is walking down from sort of a base camp where all the light and bait is just to have a better feel of some of these bites because it's hard to tell particularly thornback it seems like these thornback bites are very slow they sit on the bait they put their wings over it and they sort of sit there you need to get their head up into the tide really so so I've come right down to the uh, water now just see if I can feel what's going on here See the baits are being nibbled away <laughs> that's whiting just nibbling 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 I just hope that a ray can get there before the whiting have surrounded it they're sticking that bait out a little bit give it a chance or at least give those rays a chance to find it in between all those bloody whiting See there from the claspers, it's a female fish. There we go, lovely. Only a few pounds, let's put her back. So this wasn't the only time we had one on. I actually lost three fish. Just one another one coming up that I lost. I even put the camera ready to get it coming up off the beach in the pitch black and yet it just pinged off just out of sight. Ah. 
So all in all, not a bad little session. Have you been out on the Ray? Uh, I'd love to know if you have. Um, I'm going to go again, see if we can get something a little bit bigger next time. But I'd love you to comment. Let us know if you've been out ray fishing as well. And how have you got on? I and mean, how else is it fishing right around the country as well? So I've got another one on here. But it's sucking that bait. <laughs> but it's pretty tight to the uh, seabed. What I don't want to do is it, I don't want to break the leader line, ping it out. So just going to try and lift it slowly, keep the pressure on. Uh, I might walk across the beach a little bit here. There's a sandbank right in front of me, so the problem is rather than, well, rather than wait for the tide. tricky to know what to do. Just going to sit with a bit of tension in the line. So I've reeled it in. It's off. It's off. Shit. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, sorry you had to put up with a lack of fish until the end, but that's the story of sea fishing. Uh, a lot of the time. So thanks very much for watching.